Hello, welcome to my channel. If you love biographies or history, leave a like. Now let's get back to the video. Eugene Morrison Stoner, born on November 22, 1922 in Gosport, Indiana, was a pioneering firearms designer whose innovative contributions revolutionized modern infantry weaponry. From his early fascination with firearms to the creation of iconic designs like the Air 15 and M16 rifles, Stoner's impact on the military and civilian firearm landscape is profound. Stoner's interest in firearms began at an early age and he joined the U.S. Marine Corps during World War II. His military service provided him with first-hand experience and insights into the perform and send shortcomings of existing firearms. After the war, Stoner delved into firearms design and his inventive mind set the stage for groundbreaking developments. In the late 1950s, Stoner introduced the Armalite Air 10 rifle, incorporating innovative features such as a gas-operated, selective fire system, and lightweight materials. Despite limited initial success, this design laid the foundation for his most iconic creation. The Armalite AR-15. The AR-15, designed by Stoner in the early 1960s, showcased a gas-operated, rotating bolt system and utilized lightweight materials like aluminum and plastics. Its modular design and reliability caught the attention of the U.S. military, leading to the adoption of a modified version. The M16 rifle during the Vietnam War the M16 became the standard issue rifle for American forces, showcasing Stoner's influence on modern infantry firearms. Stoner's contributions extended beyond rifles. He played a pivotal role in the development of the Stoner 63 modular weapon system, a versatile firearm platform used in various configurations including light machine guns and carbines. His designs emphasized adaptability, ease of use, and reliability, setting new standards for military small arms. Throughout his career, Stoner faced challenges, including controversies surrounding the early performance of the M16 in Vietnam. However, subsequent improvements and adaptations solidified the rifle's reputation as one of the most influential firearms in history. After leaving Armalite, Stoner continued his work with various companies, contributing to the design of firearms and accessories. His later projects included the Stoner 86 and Stoner 96 machine guns, showcasing his ongoing commitment to innovation in the field of firearms. Eugene Stoner's legacy is etched in the evolution of modern infantry weaponry. His designs not only influenced military firearms, but also had a significant impact on civilian firearm markets. The AR-15 platform, in particular, became a symbol of versatility and adaptability, with numerous variations available to civilians. Stoner received recognition for his contributions, including inductions into the National Inventors Hall of Fame and the Firearm Industry Hall of Fame. Despite his passing on April 24, 1997, Eugene Stoner's impact on firearms design endures, and his innovative spirit continues to shape the landscape of small arms technology. His legacy stands as a testament 
to the transformative power of ingenuity and engineering in the realm of firearms. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like and a sub.